Good morning, North Point. It is December 11th, 2014, and I'm Peyton Hall. And I'm Elena Keller. And, and Wake, Wake Up North Point, Point starts, starts right now. In school news, Star Testing continues this week with many classes testing today. Make sure you do your best. Deep Thinking Thursday. So whatever you're, you are thinking, take it deeper, ask questions, seek answers. Also in school news, academic team competes tonight against rival Goodrich Elementary. Good luck to our fourth and fifth grade team members. And let's take a look at today's weather. Class have dominated our forecast for the last three days. And finally today, we are seeing signs that this deck of clouds will decrease and we'll get to enjoy some rays of sunshine. High pressure is building in from the northwest, so this is helping the process. Temperatures will be colder as we head out the door th this morning in the, in t into the mid upper 20s. We'll only climb back into the 38 degrees Fahrenheit this afternoon for an unseasonally unseasonally cool day. Now to lunch. Lunch today will be chicken tenders, Salisbury steak, fluffy mashed potatoes, green beans, tossed salad, fresh vegetable medley, juicy orange wedges, mixed fruit hot rolls. Please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. To start of headlines, we're talking about the Mars Curiosity rover. Maybe there was life on Mars a long time ago. At least there was an un ingredient for life, water. L life needs water to live. NASA's Curiosity River has found clues that there was once a huge lake on Mars. The lake once filled the Gale Crater. This lake could have been around for millions of years. These new facts go against the, an old idea. Scientists used to think that most of Mars' water was only in ice or underground, not like the surface, like a lake would be. The new results come from studying rocks. The rocks come from the base of Mount Sharp. It is a mountain on Mars which is three miles high. It is right in the middle of the Big Gale Crater. The results could also change other ideas about Mars. They could make us think differently about how Mars changed over time. The lake was able to last for a long time. That means that Mars must have had a much thicker atmosphere than it does now. The researchers looked at rocks. There were some that seemed to be forming at strange angles. Those are the kinds of rocks you get when fast-moving river water suddenly hits a lake. When it does, the river water has to slow down. Curiosity spotted these rocks at many different spots on the mountain. That means the rocks must have moved many times through the crater crater's history. Curiosity is in its third year on Mars. It was originally sent to study Mount Sharp. Curiosity landed in August 2012, but it soon took a side trip from its target. It went to study a spot called Yellow Knife Bay. There, the rover drilled up rocks. The rocks showed signs of a fascinating history. The rover found that Mars once had a lot of water, and life can grow in water. Now, the rover is finally studying the base of Mount Sharp. Its rocks could hold the answer. We might finally find out if Mars is much more livable planet than it looks like today. And that's a wrap of today's headlines. On this day in 1936, after ruling for less than one year, Edward VIII becomes the first English monarch to voluntarily abdicate the throne. And now for our fun facts. Brought to, brought to us by Stepper World Facts. Just read the cap. Did you know that a camel can drink 25 gallons of water in less than three minutes? Really? It's true. Have a great day, North Point. We'll see you next time with some more great news. And remember, North Point, keep your paws up. Have a great day or not, the, the choice, choice is yours. yours.